Here's how to download email attachments to a folder uh, via POP3 or IMAP. Now to do this, I'm going to use Batch and Print Pro email download function. Now I'm going to need to turn off the actual printing because uh, Batch and Print Pro is for printing. But, so I'm just going to use the email to download part of it. Now to do this, first you need to set up a null printer so it doesn't actually print it, it just downloads it. So click Add Printer, Add Local Printer. Uh, I'm going to set it to Null, which is in this list here. No local port. Next, I can pick any printer I want, really. So I'm going to pick a Canon, first one on the list. Next, next, next. I'm going to set it default just for this example. So that's a bit set up now. So I want to actually download like an email attachment like here. I've got an email that I'm going to send to this address. And it's going to download it to this test folder here. So I'm going to Batch and Print Pro Options Directory Monitor Setup. Activate monitoring. I'm going to activate, do a scan every 10 seconds. So I'm going to download this test folder here. The printer is the one I just set as default. And then you go into email FTP settings. In here you want to activate email monitoring. And then you set up the email that you want to monitor. And in here you can actually um, filter by subject. So for example, say if all files with uh, emails with say invoice, you can just download those only. So in this test, I'm just going to put in test because in the email here, I'm going to have test. So, so you can also print the pop three message, which should actually just download it. Um, in this case, I just want the attachment. So it's just going to download this attachment here when I send it to the this email address. So save and exit. So that's all set up. That's the basic setup. Click add to list, save and exit. So now it's monitoring that folder. This can be run as an NT service in the background, so it just runs all the time. So it's going to scan the email address here. At the moment, the email hasn't been sent, so I'm just going to send it now. So it should get there in a few seconds. Hopefully the next cycle. So you see it's got one count there. So that's the email it's downloading now. So it should download it to this test folder here. Now it says that it's printed it. Uh, it didn't actually print because the printer's null. So that successfully worked. So it's a great way you can fit, you can set up multiple monitors in here for different uh, POP3 addresses or the same one with different filtering, different folders. It's a great way of just downloading emails to a folder and then you can do other things with it. Give it a try.